All right, back at this water pump, I went ahead and uh, bought a new water pump. And I have also gone ahead and cleaned all of the gasket surfaces on the cover and then as well as the engine. Uh, I just did that off camera because I don't I don't think I need to show that. I just used a Dremel with a brush on the end. Very low speed seems to work pretty good. And for uh, my gasket, I am using this uh, Permatex Ultra Gray Gasket Maker High Torque. I think it should work. Um, I was looking for some coolant type uh, gaskets but I could not find any um, or coolant type gasket maker but I could not find any uh, the instructions say for best results surface should be clean and dry they are that I've gone ahead and rinsed them down with brake clean as well cut nozzle and apply a continuous 1 16th to quarter inch bead of silicone to one surface surrounding all bolt holes assemble parts immediately while silicone is still wet Finger tighten until material begins to squeeze out around flange. So I'm going to have to do this in two steps. Uh, we'll have to uh, put it, we'll have to put the silicone around the uh, uh, engine block, put the water pump on. I've already done a dry fit on the water pump, and then we will put the cover on after I put some additional silicone on. So um, let's get busy here. Let me pop my silicone here. That is done. We're going to see exactly how good I am at this. I am terrible at putting gasket on. So. I really don't want to put it on the water pump. Because I'm going to have to move the water pump around to get it meshed with the gears. I've, like I said, I've already dry fit it, so it should be pretty close. But at the same time. Alright. So let's see here. Um, I did take some notes on, or mental notes on where the gasket was before. You can already tell I might have to enlarge my gasket hole here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is not going to work. All right, let's try this again. What I will do is I will come back and go around the bolt holes once I get to a place where I've All right, well naturally right after I got started I dropped the camera and there was no easy way for me to get to it and I was working on putting this uh, bead in and so, and I had all the parts assembled and everything when it fell fell off. And, uh, yeah, it just, <clears throat> sorry about that. So what I did is I put, got the bead on, you saw me do part of that, put the water pump on, and then I went ahead and just used a couple of the bolts to kind of push the water pump on, uh, get a little bit of the, uh, the gasket uh, kind of spread out a little bit. And then I put the cover on, and now I have the bolts just sitting there. They are more or less just finger tight. Um, and so we're going to let them sit there for a couple hours because that's what the instructions say. And so the instructions say, it says, uh, um, let dry for one hour, then tighten to torque specifications. So we'll let them dry for one hour. And I believe these are 12 or 15 foot pounds. I'll have to go look again to make sure and they'll let dry 24 hours to fill a cure before filling with fluids and returning to service. So that's what, uh what I will do. So um, we'll let this sit for an hour and then we'll come back and retorque them and I will actually go ahead and put the muffler and everything else back on because honestly if this doesn't work well I'd be shocked because I mean I clearly have gasket uh, all the way around it. You can see under there I got gasket coming out so not not too worried about it terms of of gasket so see here yeah see you gasket coming out there and everywhere so we should be good to go on the water pump uh that's why i replaced it water pump was 230 dollars plus a little bit of shipping and tax um i did not buy it through deer 
because uh, I had already placed my order uh, from Deer this week. I actually got a whole bunch of parts in there um, that I'll go over later. But I had already placed my order, and I called them. And by the time I called them, they weren't sure that I could get it by this weekend. Um, and meanwhile, I found a place online that I could get it this weekend. So uh, it actually came in a day early. It was supposed to get here on Saturday, which is today. Uh, and it came in yesterday, so kind of the first for the whole pandemic and shipping stuff, which is kind of nice to see. So what I'm going to do is let this sit for an hour, and I'll come back and torque them. All right, it's been about an hour. So now we can uh, do the torque sequence on these bolts. So I went and found the manual. Uh, I said 15 pound, or 12 to 15 foot pounds. It is 15 foot pounds. There is a sequence that you need to tighten them down in, in the manual. Uh, and so basically what we're gonna do is I've got my torque wrench set to 15 pounds. And the first one we do is this one right here. The second one is this one. Make sure this is right. Third is this one. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth, seven, eight, and last one is nine. And we'll go back and just walk through them again. Perfect. So now that we have that done, we can uh, put the whole thing back together. All right, let's put everything back together. First thing we need to do is put the uh, muffler back on. So I actually went ahead and put the bolts back, or the nuts and the bolts back in place so I did not lose them. So we're gonna take those four bolts out and these four nuts off. Like I said, I'm not going to replace the exhaust gasket quite yet. Put my, put our hanger on here. Then take and uh, put our exhaust on here. Like so.
last ones we have to do are here on the side. And then that should be it. Perfect. Now we can put the battery in and uh, wait for tomorrow. So I think that's it for this video. Um, if you have comments or questions, leave them below. If not, thanks for watching.